It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Welcome everyone to the Mayor's Report. I'm here at Pottsville in the Mayor's office, uh, Mayor Dave Clues. Uh, a lot of exciting things have happened since he became mayor uh, in Pottsville. I could see it when you're walking down the street and talking to people. Uh, it's just a, a nice feeling. And uh, um, Dave, I gotta tell you, you know, so far, uh, it looks like, you know, things are, are progressing. There's uh, a lot of enthusiasm, and this is a great town. I, it's what I was hoping to bring uh, was that kind of belief in, in, in my hometown, as I like to refer to it when I'm speaking to people now. Uh, I mean, it's, it'll always be my hometown, but now I'm even maybe a little prouder that I'm sitting in this seat. Yeah. It's funny because, um, you know, we're airing the show. Now, this show I'm going to air in, in the Hazleton area as well because I think you have a lot to talk about and let people, there are a lot of people coming and visiting in the possible. But, you know, it's funny, this is Sammy the hair, the hair on this guy. Well, what, I, you know, <laughs> what's the story with the hair? I said, I've tried to cut it off on air and, you know, I know my ratings go through the roof, you know. Um, but uh, it's been something that you had, uh, you know, for so many years, how huh? yeah. uh, Yes, I have. Is and there then, a story know, behind that? You there, know? There, there is a story behind it. Uh, you know, as you know, my late wife was uh, in the hair dressing, hair business. And we were out one night and a gentleman in my age group, I'll say, walked by and he had a ponytail down to about the middle of his back. And I looked at it and went, wow. And she turned and said, don't even think about it. And I said, why, can I wear it stylistically? She goes, oh, you can wear it, but you don't have that kind of patience to grow it. Oh. So it was kind of game on. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, it's still here. It's yeah. staying here. <laughs> yeah. And if nothing else, it's, you know, part of my loving memory of her. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and it's my clever disguise as mayor. I mean, you know, I, I get the, you're yeah. the mayor. Yeah, yeah you know, right. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, right. Don't look at this. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny, it's like, you know, tattoos and stuff like that, but I keep telling them, said, and then what kind of guy is this, Dave Clues? I mean, what kind of guy is he? I, I, I tell him, and uh, affectionately, uh, I've known you for so many years, you know, uh, and I said, this is the kind of guy that when he tells you he's going to do something, he's going to do it. He's the kind of guy that you can depend upon. Because when we came here, my friends, in 1999, uh, Samson Productions, we needed help. And we needed people to support us because it's local programming. And this guy here, Dave Clues, is one of the first that came up with uh, Jerry Enders and a lot of people, uh, Slitzer, Joe Slitzer, uh, who supported us. And uh, we've been here ever since. And uh, we thank you for that. And I, I knew that I know this guy very well. I, I won't tell you everything. Don't blame I, me. I, I, I won't blame <laughs> anything. All right, let's get back to business. Sure. Let's, tell me what you've been doing. Well, we've been, we've been pretty busy here. Uh, we just... We just, with uh, our PADCO, Pottsville Area Development Corporation, ran a contest for young entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs as a whole to bring uh, businesses to Pottsville. We, it was called Launch Pottsville. <clears throat> we started with 14 potential entrants. There was $250,000 in, in help and uh, financing and funding available to, to we got to the winners. and. Uh, they had judges along the way that in each step some people e either dropped out, realized they were in deeper than they could be, until we got it down to a final four actually that were all very viable and, and looks to be we're going to have four brand new businesses come to town out of this event. Uh, two winners were chosen. Uh, so we had the uh, chopping block which is an axe throwing uh, venue and sports bar. And then uh, a young lady, and she was probably the, the, the best in, in my book as far as reaction went. Uh, it's, it's called the Rage Cage. It's a, uh, a fashion and skate shop. Uh, she happens to be very big in roller derby throughout the state and actually throughout the country. And uh, uh, we, did it, we did it shark tank style. Oh. So she actually rolled in on her on her skates and did her whole presentation that way. <clears throat> and she reminded me a lot of me where, you know, I, with my car audio shop, I'm a specialty store. Mm. And I happen to be extremely passionate about it. Well, she's kind of the same thing in the roller derby wow. world. 
uh, has that kind of reputation and passion for it. Uh -huh. So it was it was a big surprise to everybody to you know see her come in number two. Uh -huh. uh, I, I wish her the best. We have uh, another another venue looking. Uh, it'll be a uh, kind of a that's good uh, a space to. Uh, for events and production work and artists to work in an open area and the uh, the fourth one an ice cream shop you know this um, you got four great uh, companies here yeah oh. yeah all, all very viable uh, you know what, what was kind of interesting was you know now finding four businesses space uh, oh yeah you know in downtown Pottsville we have a, you know we have a limited number of storefronts uh, are they know, filled though uh, they've all got locations. Uh, we even have a new sub shop opening up. Uh, so there, there's a lot of things happening downtown Pottsville right now. New music stores moving downtown here. So uh, uh, now, how about our streets? Things. Are you taking care of our streets? Oh, the streets. That was our that, that was our Monday night uh, uh, annual council meeting or monthly council meeting. We talked, uh, you know, let people know. Listen, you know. First of all, there's 57 miles of streets in the city of Pottsville. Uh, we do have a plan for repaving. The guys are out and starting. Uh, we rate the streets. We have a rating system. Uh, everybody thinks they have the worst you know, block uh, with potholes, and there are a lot of them. But we look at you know, usage, uh, the condition of the street, uh, what's the future of the street with traffic and, and utility work being done, because nothing worse than paving the street and then find out, you know, gas company's going to come through and dig it up. Yeah, that's I hate that. It happens all I, the time. I, I it's hate like it. clockwork. I, yeah, you, you wonder. I mean, it's just like you just fix the street, and then two weeks later you see them ripping up and putting gas lines. <laughs> Not that they should. I, I think they should notify P, uh, the city first and say we're going to be doing this and this and this, so you don't have that. I, I just blows my mind. We're going to. Uh, we. I want to bring your guest on, and I want to come back. I want to talk about Memorial Day and. Some of the thing, the train and whole bit. Okay, sure. uh, just briefly, uh, who's uh, Dave Young? Tell me a little bit Dave about Dave Young. What a what a gift to our city is, and, and the county, as a matter of fact. He's with Google Community Action. Uh, the reason I wanted to have Dave here today is because there's so many things they do that uh, I don't feel our community really knows about, and they do a great job at it. I mean, they're. They're a phone call away, and you know, once you call them with an issue, they're they're moving on uh, finding solutions from, you know, housing issues. Uh, he's got a whole list. I'm looking forward to talking to him, folks. You're watching the Mayor's Report. Uh, we're going to take a break, uh, come back, and we'll talk to Dave Young, and then we'll bring this guy back again. Uh, a lot of a lot of great things happening in this town. I've always loved Pottsville when we first came here, you know, lasting legacy and bicentennial. But the people here are fabulous. And uh, my good friend, John Riley, Mayor Riley, he was, he was just great to us. Uh, and I, I wish him well. We'll take a break right now. Welcome back to the Mayor's Report. I'm Sam Lassant. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. A lot of great information. Now, for example, uh, we have Dave Young here, who is the Executive Director of Schuylkill Community Action. Now, Dave, first of all, thanks for coming on the show. Well, thank you for having me. I know we have to put up with the mayor, but what could I tell you? That's the way, <laughs> that's the way it goes. Uh, the mayor was very excited of having you on because there's a lot of things that your organization does. And as I'm looking at this stuff, there's so many things that you do. So why don't you explain to the public what is it that your your company, your, what you do, and how you could help so many people? I, I think uh, first our mission, we're a local nonprofit based here in Pottsville. Our mission really is to serve the low income residents of Schuylkill County, really trying to empower them to uh, move towards self-sufficiency uh, and off of uh, reliance on governmental resources. Uh, giving them the sense of independence. Uh, we have about 40 different programs we administer in conjunction with uh, the county, the city of Pottsville, uh, other communities throughout the county. Okay, so now with that being said, I'm looking here uh, that you, you know, you, uh, there's awarded about $7.8 million, okay? What, where is that money going? Yeah, the, that's uh, our emergency rental assistance program. It's uh, part of the response to COVID uh, to help people that may have uh, had some housing instability uh, during the pandemic. Uh, we can help households uh, that fell behind on their rent uh, with rental assistance and utility assistance. Uh, 
to catch up on their back due bills, but also provide future payments to help them really stabilize their housing situation. They already they work closely with our case managers uh, to develop a goal plan to really move them uh, forward and hopefully off of the need for further assistance. Okay, so now is this only for Schuylkill County? No, this is a national program across, across the country. Uh, we administer it on, in, on behalf of Schuylkill County, so uh, that's what So if I'm in Luzerne County and I need help, Yes. Could I call you? or uh, The funds that we have are tied to our county. Each okay. county has... Their own funds. Okay. Yes. All right. So what number would they call? The, uh, 570-622-1995. Uh, that'll connect you to any of our programs and resources. Okay. So someone's having a difficult time now paying their rent. Uh, what about energy, fuel costs? Yeah, we can help out with that through this specific program. We also have some utility assistance programs we administer in partnership with uh, PPL Electric and UGI. Uh, we have an on-track program that helps uh, put customers on a reduced monthly payment. It also has a rearage forgiveness. So each time that customer makes a payment, they get some of that back due bill forgiven and it gives them a real opportunity to get back on track like the program says. Do you have to have a certain income to qualify or not to qualify? I mean, how does how do you assess that? Most of the programs have some kind of income qualification for them. Uh, with the in regards to the rental assistance program, that's an eighty percent area median income. So we would just review the income with uh, the household when they would call in for the program assistance. So I'm having difficulty uh, paying my rent. I'm having difficulty uh, with my fuel cost. Um, you may have opportunities or you do have opportunities to help these people. Absolutely. Okay. Now, you have here the Schuylkill Food Network, m monthly part, uh, pantry distributions at the Billy Payne Community Center. And Billy Payne, who I've known for years, <laughs> was a great person. Uh, right, Dave, wasn't she? She was... She, she was she was fantastic. She I, was a dedicated board I, member oh up God. until her I, untimely passing. She and, was committed to yeah. up to, up to until she died. Is yeah. right exactly. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about the food network. Uh, we have uh, nineteen localized food pantries that we oversee. Uh, we administer the program uh, in Pottsville. We. Uh, do our food deliveries each month uh, at the Billy Payne Community Center. Uh, information on pantry distributions throughout the county can be found on our website uh, at schoolcommunityaction.com. Uh, it has the time uh, of the pantry distributions and uh, what municipalities, townships they cover. They cover Schuylkill County. Well, the Billy Payne covers Pottsville, the it's city Pot of Pottsville, okay. but we have 19 pantries that are set up to cover the entirety of Schuylkill County. Yeah. All right, now people want to make their homes energy efficient, okay, because, uh, but they need help. What do you have in those areas? Oh, we have a weatherization program. Uh, we've administered that program here in Schuylkill County since its inception in 1976. Uh, it's a program where we send out auditors uh, for to measure the energy efficiency of the home. Uh, based on that audit, uh, Different things are done, uh, insulation, weather stripping, uh, comprehensive uh, plan is put together to make that house as energy efficient as possible. We also have programs that can help out with uh, furnace repairs, replacements. We do that in conjunction with the county assistance office uh, through the light heat crisis program. Uh, if someone's heat, uh, heating system is failing, they can call to get a referral for that program. Wow, you so, uh, here again, you, ha you have to qualify. Okay. Yes. Now, you're not going to, there's one thing, you know, I remember when they came out with these um, grants uh, for helping different uh, businesses or people, and my friends, when you get the forums, they want everything except your firstborn. Uh, and, you know, uh, I, I know you have to have answer questions, but my God, sometimes by the time you see everything you have to do, it just, you know, you need help in, in setting it up. Don't panic. I, that's the first thing, you know, don't panic. And we have guys like Dave uh, and his people that will help you. So in any area that you need help with, particularly with the energy cost or food, I want to get into the rehab program in a second. You, you, you can help these people, right? I yeah, mean, absolutely. Uh, that's one of the difficulties. People get overwhelmed by those yeah. applications. We have case managers that are 
<laughs> trained to help people through those applications and to help simplify uh, them accessing the service. That's one of the big things. People hear about a service, maybe they're not aware of a service. We try to make it simple, try to get our the word out that we have these programs and help out there and try to make it easy for our customers to access it. Okay. Rehab programs. We have a couple rehab programs. I want to highlight the one here in the city of Pottsville. Uh, we have a great partnership with uh, the city here. Uh, we have a home-funded rehab program, which is a federally funded program that can help uh, a family, a homeowner, address uh, different issues in their home. It really is focused on uh, lead remediation in the home, any radon issues, and it also helps address any other code issues in the home. It's a substantial rehab program. Uh, people that uh, in the city of Pottsville, uh, they can actually contact the city to get on the waiting list for that program and get uh, basically uh, zero interest grant uh, that's forgivable after five years and you can get repairs to bring that home safe. We, we firmly believe uh, everyone should be entitled to safe, affordable and quality housing and we're doing everything in our power to make that happen here in the county. So my friends, let me do a little review here for you. There is so much help available out there for you if you need it. We, we talk about mortgage payments. We talk about rentals. <clears throat> we talk about utility assistance. <clears throat> we talk about monthly um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, <clears throat> pantry distributions. We talk about you know, energize, uh, energy efficient homes uh, and rehab programs. Uh, I can see why Mayor Clues wanted me to bring Dave on. There, there's so much that's available to you. Uh, I have the number on the screen, which is 570-622-1995. Uh, just uh, opportunities for people to take advantage of it, right? Yeah, it's there. The resources are there. It's really an opportunity uh, with all the resources that have been made available as a result of the pandemic. It's a, a chance for people to get caught up and really take those next steps to stabilizing their their lives and really taking that uh, step forward. I, I'm, I, I'm so happy to hear this because uh, we're suffering right now. So many seniors and, and people, not only seniors, but People are fixed incomes and they're, and they're getting clobbered with the, the, the inflation and the food cost. And I mean, it's just a disaster what's happening in the country. Uh, and thank God we have, you know, your organizations to help. Am I correct in saying that? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I want, I want to thank you for coming on the show. And I want, I want to thank Dave, for, <laughs> for Mayor, for bringing you on because there's a lot of information. Here. Yes, I appreciate Mayor Clues for asking me to come on. And Sam, thank you for having me on. It's, it's good to be surrounded by administration, people that are positive, excited, and not only does Dave talk about things, but he gets them done. And he gets them done in a professional manner. I hate to say that because, you know, he gets a big head. <laughs> but really, I, I, and, I, and I'm excited about Pottsville having him. I'm also excited to hear that you can help people in Schuylkill County. I think that's great. It is. That's what we're here for, and uh, hopefully we'll be doing it for a long time moving Okay, forward. so before I close, will I be coming to a wedding pretty soon? Uh, <laughs> I'll let you know on that one. That's our inside <laughs> joke, my friends. We're going to take a break. We'll be back to talk to the mayor again. Welcome back to the Mayor's Report, my friends. I'm Sam Lasant. We're here at the Pottsville Mayor's Office in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Uh, I want to take a special note here and thank you for making the Sam Lasant Show the number one talk show in northeastern Pennsylvania. You know, we cover from north of Harrisburg all the way to Kingston, Pennsylvania, hitting over now 250,000 homes, uh, and we, I appreciate that very much. My email is sam at ssptv.com. Uh, we're here at, uh, as I said, the mayor's office. Dave Clues is the mayor, doing a fabulous job. Pick up uh, interesting conversation with Dave Young, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. He does so much. Let's talk about what some events now are happening, starting from Memorial Day. Well, on Memorial Day, we, uh, we, we've got a full slate of I, 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 have, I have to interrupt you. I can't sing that day. I, you I'm, can't I'm, sing? I, no, I, I'm, I know you had me down as the major attraction. Uh, there goes half uh, the crowd. The half the crowd's going. So just don't get upset with me. I just can't make it. So continue on. <laughs> sure. We, we start the day off with uh, the Memorial Day Mile, which is a mile run, uh, 8.30 to 9.30's registration out at 18th Street. Uh, 18th and Market, and they run straight down Market into the square, which is one mile. 
Uh, it's broke down by age group. Uh, it's always been a big turnout. You know, a lot of fun, a lot of families do it together. Nice way to start the day. The first 100 registers get a free T-shirt for the day. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's how we started here in Pottsville. Then at uh, 11 o'clock, we're in the square, and we'll be uh, you know, doing our annual recognition of all our soldiers and so on. We have a guest speaker, a former you know, born and raised Pottsville person in the Navy, very high ranking, and is flying in from California to be our guest speaker. Uh, so we're really looking forward to that. The 3rd Brigade Band will be doing some nice music in the square. And then actually uh, this year we have a, a third, uh, third kind of event happening. There was a uh, World War II monument in town that, to be quite honest, for years has kind of been neglected. It's a little bit out of the way, but the fact is it's been there for a long time. And uh, recently the local AMBETS uh, and a group called Dustin's Adventures, they're doing a park for autistic people or autistic children uh, playground. They got together and uh, got the funds and the manpower and, and redid this monument. So after Garfield Square, we'll be moving up to 11th and West Arch uh, for a little dedication and uh, you know, look at what they've cleaned up and done and you know, honoring the World War II vets. And then they're going up to the local AMBETS post for an open house that day. So that's, that's Boy, our Memorial Day. Well, that sounds like it'd be, it's, it's a, hope you get a beautiful day because it's a, you know, a lot of great things happening, you know. Um, now, uh, moving on, uh, I understand you had good news for the fire departments. Um, tell our viewers yeah, what the good that, news Yeah, that is. was, you know, uh, <coughs> you know, I'm a member of the fire department since I'm 21, and as a councilman was in charge of that part, and now that I'm mayor, I have the police department. But... Uh, with the COVID money we got in from the county and, you know, those departments had such a hard time raising, you know, funds. They couldn't do block parties and a lot of other their fundraising events. So uh, we came up with $20,000 a piece for all seven companies. So Monday night we uh, awarded $140,000 to our fire departments wow. to keep their support up. Wow. You know, we're so lucky to have them. And of, of course, like when Jim was here telling us at the time, uh, Chief Mystician, that you know they're always looking for volunteers, still are. So yeah. if you want to give back to your community, there's a great yeah. way. Yeah. And, and, and any kind of volunteer. We don't have to be the person to jump on the truck, but they can need people to do certain things. So, uh, you know, believe me, they can, they can use you. Absolutely. Of course, they, they also raise money with the annual um, uh, car show, right? Uh, yes, yeah, that's that's well, coming up in August. Yeah, the, you're doing the, that the again. The Postal Cruise is coming up second second Saturday in August. Yeah. Uh, the Humane Fire Company is now uh, taking care of that event and doing a great job. Good. What did you raise from that? Remember? Uh, last year, I believe they raised over ten thousand dollars for the oh, day exactly. between the sponsorships and all the cars that came, yeah. and you know, with the new location on Laurel Boulevard, uh, those who questioned it found out how much they really liked it. Yeah. There was so yeah. much more space. Yeah. And we're uh, we're expecting another you know good year. Good. Well, we can wait. I want to enjoy the summer. Okay. <laughs> Don't rush me. All right. Don't rush me. Okay. The train. Yeah. Choo 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 choo. The train. Yes, Tell us about having, the train. Uh, we've been having trains come up. They leave down in Reading, come into Pottsville for the day. Uh, I've been I've been there to greet them uh, every time they get off the train so far, and hope to continue to do that. Then while they're in town, uh, they're set up to tour the Yingling Brewery. Jerry's Classic Car Museum, the historical, the Schuylkill County Historical Society here on Center Street. Uh, take them to the Yingling Mansion and uh, take them to the, if, when the weather is nice, uh, the Charles Baber Cemetery. Sounds kind of strange, but you know, in the day when that was made, it was Pottsville's green space. Yeah. And it still is. It, it's yeah. amazing to me how many people like to go and walk it. It's sure. beautiful and peaceful, yeah. Yeah. very well maintained. And uh, then, of course, they're you know left to uh, enjoy so, some of the many fine possible eating establishments before they're given a train ride back to Reading. A lot of great things happening. So let me ask you something, Dave. Knowing you, as I said, so so many years, um, and well, just as between you and I, we won't let them listen. How? When you know you ran for mayor, how different is it? The, 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 is it what you thought it would be, or? 
uh, you know, being, I mean, you were so active, still active with 12 Volt Dave doing your, your, your business. But, you know, what kind of, uh, what did you find when you came here? Was it something that you thought of or, or would happen? or? You know, it, 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 most of the things, because of my two years on council and all the other time, you know, even before that when I was on the uh, Business Association as president, I made every council meeting. So I kind of kind of had a pretty good feel. Uh, the, the things I, I can say I probably didn't think about uh, becoming mayor is one, being referred to as mayor or your honor all the time. Sometimes I have to look around and go, where is he? Uh, and the other thing is, to, is the little things, you know, the, those little, uh, that, that light's yellow, I can make it through it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. <you> know? <laughs> it's just, just those little things that you don't think about, you do day to day, that now with everybody with a cell phone, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't need to be the uh, Monday night media coverage. Yeah, right, so, right, right. Uh, but, uh, is it, is it what you expected? I mean, I know you're excited about this, and it, it shows. I mean, you know, you had a group, you had a meeting with everybody, and you told them, you know, what they could do for Pottsville, and, you know, you started off on a positive note, which I knew you would, um, but it's it's what you what you planned on, right? Yeah, it, it really has been, you know, a, a politics aside, we've all been working together, you know, Good. rather well. I mean, we, we have our moments, yeah. but, uh, you know, as a whole, all the council is here for the betterment of the city and then most of the time we can you know keep moving forward that way uh so i you know nothing nothing there i didn't expect uh, or, or plan to, to work with well you're a good man keep up the good work uh dave clue is the mayor here in uh, pottsville uh and uh, this show is to inform you what's going on um a lot of great things happening in northeastern pennsylvania we'll see you next time